The number one question I get from men online and in my clinic is this, doctor, is there anything I can do to get bigger? Sometimes it's phrased as, how do I get longer? Or is there a way to add girth? And I get it. This is a deeply personal topic. But here's what I want you to know. You are not alone in thinking about this. A massive international survey of over 50,000 men found that more than half, 55%, were unhappy with the way their penis looked. But here's the twist. When their partners were asked, 85% of women said they were satisfied. That gap between how we feel about ourselves and how our partners actually see us is real, and it matters. Because this isn't just about numbers on a ruler, it's about confidence, intimacy, and dignity. Before I unpack the science, do me a quick favor. Hit the like button if you value honest, no-nonsense health talk. Drop a comment and tell me, where are you watching from today? And of course, subscribe to this channel, because every week I share new science-backed strategies for men's health, intimacy, and vitality. Let's start by busting one of the biggest myths out there. Pornography has completely distorted our sense of what's normal. What you see on screen is not reality. It's performance often altered by camera tricks, surgery, or drugs. The real world medically measured truth is this. The average erect penis length is about 13.2 centimeters or just over five inches. And medically, anything within a broad range around that number is considered normal. Here's another fact. A micro penis, which is a true medical condition, is defined as a stretched or erect length of less than 7.5 centimeters or about 2.9 inches. That's extremely rare, affecting only about 0.14% of men worldwide. So if you're not in that category, biologically speaking, you are normal. But here's the catch. Most men who worry about their size aren't really struggling with length. They're struggling with anxiety about length. It's so common that doctors actually have a name for it, small penis anxiety. And here's why that matters. Because the more you obsess, the worse it can affect your mental health your relationships, and even your ability to perform. Hi, I'm Dr. Narita, a board-certified urologist and men's health specialist. I've been helping men protect their prostate, restore their vitality, and improve intimacy for over 12 years. And part of my job is separating science from hype. Today, I'm going to break down what the medical research really says about penile length, girth, and enlargement treatments. We'll cover the real averages and why they matter, the mistakes men make chasing risky or fake fixes, and yes, the few scientifically tested methods that can make a measurable difference. I'll also share what I tell men in my practice who come to me worried about this exact issue. Let's go through the most common approaches men try, from the least helpful to the ones with actual science behind them. Mistake number one, falling for scams and quick fixes. Everywhere online, you'll see ads for miracle creams, pills, or shady injections. They promise dramatic gains in length or girth, but here's the truth. There is zero clinical evidence that pills or lotions can make your penis longer. Biologically, here's why. A cream cannot penetrate deeply enough to alter connective tissue or smooth muscle structure. Pills marketed for size usually just contain herbs that mildly increase blood flow, at best giving you a stronger erection, not a bigger organ. And emotionally, falling into these traps sets you up for disappointment, wasted money, and sometimes dangerous side effects. Mistake number two, ignoring the mental side, small penis anxiety. I want you to pause and ask yourself, am I chasing size or chasing confidence? Because studies show that when men with size anxiety receive psychological counseling without any physical treatment, most of them stop feeling the need for enlargement at all. That's powerful. Think about it. If your partner is already satisfied, the real victory might be learning to see yourself through their eyes. Biologically, your body isn't broken. Emotionally, the anxiety convinces you otherwise. And practically, investing in therapy could save you years of stress, money, and risk. Option number three, penile traction devices, extenders. Now we're getting into the only non-surgical treatment with consistent scientific evidence. Penile extenders are mechanical traction devices. They apply a steady outward pull over time, like orthodontics for tissue. In clinical studies, men who used them for several hours a day for months gained an average of about two centimeters in stretched or flaccid length. That correlates closely to erect size. But here's the trade-off. 
It requires daily dedication for months. Side effects can include bruising, numbness, or no results at all. And the gains are modest, not the dramatic changes the ads promise. Biologically, it works by stimulating micro-stretching and tissue adaptation. Emotionally, you need patience. It's not a quick fix. Practically, it means wearing a device for hours every single day. Option number four, vacuum pumps for erectile dysfunction, not enlargement. Vacuum erection devices create temporary engorgement. But here's the truth. They do not increase length permanently. Their role is medical, helping men with erectile dysfunction maintain firmness for intimacy. If anyone sells you a pump for permanent enlargement, walk away. Mistake number five, dangerous injections and unregulated surgeries. This is the darkest corner of the enlargement world. Some clinics and even unlicensed providers abroad offer injections of silicone, oils, or fillers into the penis. The risks? Tissue scarring, chronic pain, erectile dysfunction, even deformity decades later, and surgeries like ligament release, skin grafts, or cartilage implants, they may make the penis look longer when flaccid, but they do not increase functional length. Complications are high. Patient satisfaction is low. Bottom line, unless you're in a regulated clinical trial for a true medical condition like micropenis, surgery is not recommended. So what do I actually recommend to my patients? Get the facts. Measure properly, understand what's normal, and remember the survey. Your partner is likely more satisfied than you think. Address anxiety first. Consider counseling, because confidence is often the real missing piece. If you still want a physical option, traction therapy has the best evidence. Just know it's a long, patient process, not an overnight transformation. Focus on what you can control right now. Optimizing blood flow through exercise, diet, nitric oxide support, managing hormones, reducing stress, improving overall sexual health. Because here's the truth, most partners care less about size and far more about energy, confidence, and intimacy. Listen, my friend, your worth is not measured in inches. Your partner doesn't see you the way you see yourself in the mirror. And science shows us that men who focus on overall health, confidence, and connection have far more fulfilling sex lives than men who obsess over size. So if you're worried, don't carry that burden in silence. Talk to your doctor, talk to a counselor, and remember, your body is not broken. At the end of the day, you don't need to chase risky procedures or empty promises. Small, smart, evidence-based steps like traction therapy, blood flow optimization, and addressing anxiety can make a bigger difference than you think. And the real key to satisfaction? It's not just size. It's confidence, intimacy, and showing up fully present. So take care of yourself. Respect your body and know that your best years of vitality and intimacy are not behind you. They can be ahead of you. If this video helped, please hit that like button so more men can find this information. Comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And subscribe to this channel, Dr. Narita, Men's Health, for weekly science-based tips to help you thrive at every age. Until next time, I'm Dr. Narita, reminding you, your value as a man is so much bigger than numbers on a ruler. Take care of yourself because you're worth it.